Welcome back and we're back again with another command block video. This time we're just going to be going over the structure command, the new one that's just been with the update. Uh, we're just going to be just going through a simple run through of how to use it. Um, so I think it might come in handy for a lot of people. So let's go on with an example. And for the example we're going to be showing this nice little house um, that we have got here. And basically we want to move it, we want to maybe make a little village or something like that. Or we want to have multiples of this. Um, so if we just move over to here, you can see that's exactly what I've done and to be honest with quite some ease. Um, obviously you might not want a village that looks like this, to be honest, I don't think I do either, but you know, house is a house. So if we get started with the command, um, obviously you're going to type forward slash and then structure. Um, obviously again, like I said, it is a new one. So it's nice to see some new ones coming on there. I do enjoy command blocks. Uh, right, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to want to save this to be able to load it out in a different place. Um, so if you either hit tab or save or type save um, and then ask you for a name string. So you're going to want to name this. Um, I have already done this already. Um, so I'll, I'll just do a second copy. So we'll do house two. Uh, press enter and now you're prompted to us uh, go from the X, Y, and Z. Um, for this, if you don't know already, you take uh, one corner, which I've taken here. So I've taken the coordinate right here, minus 23, 3, uh, minus 34. Oh, that should get up in the air. And then I've taken another coordinate, which um, I do believe is right here, um, minus 13, 12, minus 42. And if we just go back down to the command here and um, this is exactly the one of the house which I've done earlier so structure save um, I've called it house one the first time and then I have got my um, my first coordinates which was minus 23 3 34 then the other top right corner which is minus 13 11 minus 42 um, so once you got all that ready and you got it um, surrounding your building whatever you want to copy over it's going to ask you whether you want to save it um, in the disk false memory uh, save it in the memory or true and um, we're only going to be showing uh, how to save it here on the disk or memory um, because it sort of gets a bit confusing if I'm so if I do a false it still asks you to put it on the memory or disk um, I'm assuming maybe it might be switching off the functionality, but I won't go into that because I'm not 100% sure. So what we'll do is we will save the house. So if you want to save it to your disk, um, I believe that's to your actual computer or um, device, wherever you're using, or the memory, I'm also going to be assuming that's in the world now. Um, so you'll be saving it to this particular world. Um, so we're going to do a save memory. And as you can see on the top left, we have saved a structure with the name of my structure, House 1. Um, now, you do have to remember uh, the House 1 bit. You haven't got to type in my structure every time. It will just uh, auto-correct that there for you. So if we just head over to my little area of um, lots of these houses and the floating heads, of course. And we come down to a nice little patch over here and we want to load it up. So that's going to be, again, structure. Um, this time it's going to be load. It's going to ask us for our name string here, um, so it was house one, um, and then it's going to ask us where we want to put it. Obviously, if we want to put it exactly where we're standing, we can just go tilde, 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 um, and it just yeah, you can just press enter now, put it exactly as is right here. Um, so that's that. Um, if you want to put it in a different place, so if I do. Rather than tilde, 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 you can just type in a number, put it 100 blocks up, put it, so we can actually see it. Um, put it like uh, 60 blocks on the sky, and 20 on the z-axis, and I believe we should see one, yep, right there. So that's put it up there, so you can do it by coordinates. Um, another cool little feature is, if you want to put it, well, we'll put it right here, just to show this. You can then choose the rotation so zero degrees obviously doesn't change at all you can get it spinning completely the other way around 270 or 90 degrees so if we put 90 degrees down there um, you can see that the actual angle has changed because originally we just done that one and it's now spun 90 degrees over here um, and yeah there you go so that's pretty much i mean it, it was what a structure block was just it's now <clears throat> quite handily in a command um, so you can do it fairly quickly and swiftly 
um, and you can get a lot of things copied over quite fast, especially if you're trying to make a town, a village, a city or anything like that. Um, it's quite handy for that. Um, I will potentially do another video going into um, a bit more explanation, so I think there is a few other things here, um, like animation, cool beans, etc. Um, I don't want to do that until I'm 100% sure, so I just thought I'd uh, show you just how to use it simply at first and yeah hopefully that helps everybody so if you did enjoy the video please do leave a like and subscribe if you really if you really liked it thanks guys bye bye yeah.